Hi, we're Shannon and Jerry Arner. And our dog, Betty White. Your hosts of the Arner Adventures podcast. Could we have named it something more creative? Probably. But it's the name of our blog. It's our last name. We're on an adventure. Yada, yada, yada. After running our own business, working 24-7. And don't forget a mental breakdown in between. We made a lifestyle change and decided to make the most out of life. We sold our house, most of our belongings, downsized, and moved to the coast. We live life minimally, but fully. We live each day as an adventure. This show will help you learn how to live life more fully, with more intention, by experiencing more, and with less stuff. We'll talk about our own experiences, interview others who have much to share by creating a spark in our lives. Some days we'll share real life ongoings of what we're going through, and others will talk about our favorite flavor of waffle. Come join our adventure. It's, it's the, the Arner Adventures, Adventures Podcast. Podcast. Hello, everybody. I'm Jerry. And I'm Shannon. Betty White is hanging here with us, and we are back for episode 106 of the Arner Adventures podcast. This is the last episode of 2023. Can you even believe that? No, I can't. What no. a year. <laughs> I, I I, mean, we hit our 100th episode this year. Obviously, this is 106, yeah. but it is so exciting. I still can't even believe it. It's crazy. So if you're listening to this on the live date... It's actually the day after Christmas, so we hope you, if you celebrate, that you had a Merry Christmas, and hopefully you're just hanging out and just chilling and not have a lot to do today except for listen to this podcast. (laughs) Please listen to this podcast. Yes. Yes. Well, it's the time of year that everyone is starting to think about their goals, their intentions for the new year. A lot of people want to start with a clean slate. You know, if there's one thing that we've realized, there's no magic tool or snap of the finger that makes everything clean slate. And it's all often really intimidating, too. So we want to maybe make things a little bit easier for you in a certain arena. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, Decluttering. Mm -hmm. That's the arena we speak of. Yep. And it's something we have talked a lot about. We have our 30 day declutter challenge, which is not new if you've been a listener of our podcast for a while. So we're going to share with you how you can declutter everything in your life in one year, one day at a time. But first, first... we want to remind you to please leave us a five-star review rating. Or if you're listening to us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, maybe that like, let us know what you think. It really just goes so far. It helps us out. It helps to also serve this content up to people who may be interested in in knowing how to declutter everything in a year. So please do that for us. It would be just a wonderful end of year gift. Oh, yes, indeed. (laughs) Um... The question you're all asking is how, how Jerry and Shannon, do you declutter everything in just one year? (laughs) Let's first answer some of the questions that surround the topic of decluttering. I think that'll be a good, good way to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like we're the declutter masters and I, you know, a lot of people have said to us before, Oh, why don't you go into um, professional organizing or decluttering? Because we're the masters of decluttering our own stuff. (laughs) Okay. I, plus, I I learned this a long time ago. You, if you like just go and do it for someone, they don't get the mental part of it. And part of um, decluttering is mental clutter, mindset, changing mindset. And so, we want to talk about why it's crucial to declutter your life. Yeah. And the ability to let go, which you don't get if somebody else does just letting go in general. Right. It's important in moving forward. And a lot of this may seem obvious, but there's some things that may not be. So we just want to make sure that we point those out. Decluttering is so good for you by simplifying your life. It, 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 there are studies that show that it improves your mental health. It's one of the greatest benefits of decluttering is improved mental health. If you ever think about how, you know, you have a cluttered home, it creates feelings of anxiety. It also can cause depression because it's often difficult to find what you need mentally or emotionally amongst the mess. And when I say mess, I mean the literal stuff, but also just the 
the mental stuff, having a lot of things going on and having an organized home with minimal or, or a clutter free home, it can help reduce stress and make it easier to focus on what's important in your life. Yeah, that's right. And then, and yeah, the point you're making is tangible things and, and also the things that are just floating around in your head. That's right. Yeah. Getting rid of all that. So, um, Yes, a big mental health boost. Yeah. Decluttering is. Mm -hmm. It also enhances productivity. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like if you, I work, I work from home, if you work from home or whether you are doing a project at home, laundry, anything, clutter can be detrimental to your productivity levels because it takes away valuable time trying to find things and that, you know, they're buried under stuff or, you know, when everything has its own place, you know exactly where to look and spend time being more productive and yeah. having more time is a great reason to start decluttering. Oh man, it sure is. And that goes to, once again, to, to clutter in your mind too. The clearer your head is the yeah. easier is to focus and work. So yeah, yeah. Not just the tangible things. Saving money is a is a biggie too. Um, decluttering just uh, you know saves you money in the long run by preventing unnecessary purchases from from happening due to buying something that was already there, like your yeah. junk drawer. If you dig, sometimes you got to dig deep and you find something. Well, if you keep that junk drawer clean. <laughs> Yeah, kind of know what's in there, like like we do now. Or we have a little storage area, and I think I ran across that recently. Where the batteries, the batteries, and I was like, "Oh, I had those batteries." Well, now we got a lot more. Oh, we got batteries for years. It so. is just, it is just, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it, and I don't even like to call a drawer, a, but we all have them, right? We all have a junk drawer. It's a cozy season and a good night's sleep is always essential. Oh, gosh. You know, we always talk about when the change of the season happens, you really have to make sure that you're getting some good sleep. You know, if you if you don't get good sleep and then the days are shorter and it can be kind of gloomy. Oh, you're just setting yourself up for a, a really bad day. <laughs> right. <laughs> you are. You are. So transform your bed into a safe and refreshing haven mm -hmm. with know? cozy earth bamboo sheets. We love our cozy earth sheets. I mean, we love them all, all times of year, not just during the cozy season, you know, it's just a sustainable and eco-friendly bedding. We just love it. I, and there's no going back to your old sheets once you've used cozy earth. There's mm -mm. no going back to cotton or denim or whatever your old sheets were made of. That's right. And you know who also loves cozy earth? Well, I think many of our listeners might be able to guess. Lady O. <laughs> Oprah. When Oprah says that something is a good product, we really just should have stopped it. We should have just stopped and we should have just said, Oprah loves cozy earth. And that's it. <laughs> You get cozy earth sheets. You get cozy earth sheets. <laughs> yep. Well, I tell you what, you get you get 40% off of your cozy earth purchase when you go to arneradventures.com slash cozy earth. And you can use our link and our code to save. It's the biggest discount you're ever going to get on cozy earth. We promise. I would think so. It's unbeatable. 40%. Um, you know, cozy earth's own sales can't compare to these savings. They so, definitely can. Yeah. So head on over there and have a better night's sleep. Pretty calm. But yeah. I don't even like to call it that because I don't want it to be the catch all for junk because really and truly everything does have its place. But there are some tiny things that we have that fit perfectly in this little drawer that we actually that is its place, you know, like, you know, little uh, what like like the little watch battery things that go on like the alarms and just different things like that. Yeah, that... when everybody needs, I mean, you you need a rubber band or a twisty top <laughs> once in a while. There's always something coming up, and right. And I, I think that's the origin of the junk drawer. These things, you're not going to build a cabinet for these things, but yeah, there's always that drawer for the odds and ends. Yeah, but if you keep it straight, you'll know that they're there because the junk drawer can defy its own purpose if everything's buried in it and you don't know it's there. That's yeah. right. And, you know, piggybacking off of what you just said is when you have a, a decluttering process or a clutter-free home, it means that 
you are reducing waste because you're not buying more things that end up in the landfill because you have too many of them. Or, um, you know, if you really break this down, every time you go and get something that you already have, you're really like, I mean, gosh, you're, you're spending gas money, you're polluting the environment or, you know, don't even go started on how many times you can, how easily it is to click Amazon. And every time an Amazon package comes, I mean, that if you want to just do an all around salad for the earth, (laughs) then you should, you should declutter because it's a really great thing for everything for you and the environment. Oh yeah. And if you just made a trip right into town, but you did it once, once every month over the year, that might add up to hours and hours of what could have been a whole day's work on something else yeah. that, you, that you would have did. I mean, time can really add up. Yeah. You don't think about it just for one specific thing, but yeah, piles up. So. Yeah. And you know, also yeah. decluttering gives you more space. You have extra room, greater freedom to move inside your home freely. If you've ever um, started to do some, if you do work from home, for example, and you have things that are cluttered or in chaos, it's hard to start. It's hard to start that project or start working. So when you have a clutter free home, that's more open, you just have a healthier living environment by allowing fresh air to circulate. Mm -hmm. It's also just better mentally um, to have a, a, a clear open living environment. And you know, the last thing I think, not the last thing, but the last thing we'll talk about here is a great benefit is it makes cleaning easier. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You know, it sure does. With less stuff around, you don't have as much to move around and dust and mm-hmm. vacuum up and all that. We know that all too well. Oh, for me. Yeah. Especially the dusting. We don't have a lot of areas now where there's those little things where you end up going, let me dust this That's thing. That's right. And- all those tchotchkes. Yeah, decor. At, at, at one time there was that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, uh, it's like I, you dread that last shelf. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like there's two hundred things on it, and you're yeah, dusting little things. And yeah, we don't have a lot of that anyway, so it's no uh, works out pretty good for us. Well, the yeah. next thing we're going to talk about are our tips on how to make decluttering simpler, mm-hmm. and the way that we have, and we've tried everything folks. Okay. We've tried everything. We used to try to declutter the whole house the week between Christmas and new year's to have it declutter. I'm using my finger quotes decluttered for the new year. That does not work. It doesn't even stay the way it needs to, because you're also not addressing the mindset part of it. Um, but it's also a lot of work to do it that way to think you're just going to declutter your whole life in a week or a day or whatever it is. So we have found as we've gone through this process, numerous, numerous, numerous times, because it's always a work, right? Like you're always decluttering because things get into the house. But I I would say that the thing that we've realized is taking bite size, small action steps each day. It just seems to work better that way. And whether you're addressing physical clutter, mental clutter, or digital clutter, if you have that one thing you're focusing on that day, you're thinking about just that one task all day, and then you're learning more about it. So let's just say, for example, it can be as simple as, um, going through that junk drawer in your kitchen and making everything have its place. Well, most people's junk drawer, they can hardly open it. It's like a nightmare, right? Mm -hmm. But that's your one task of the day. It's definitely something that's doable. Uh, It's not overwhelming. It may seem overwhelming, but not when you have one task. And so you, you take that Mm -hmm. drawer out, you realize, oh, there's, you know, a hole puncher. And that could go over in my bin where, you know, like a desk and office supplies are. And then you have batteries and then you realize you need um, to put all the batteries together. Oh, I have batteries out in the garage or whatever in a shoebox. Let me just put them out there. And then you have thumbtacks and you realize this isn't really safe to have in the junk drawer. Mm -hmm. Let me kind of get these. And oh, I don't even use thumbtacks anymore. So let me just go ahead and get rid of these. So when you have it, that one thing, and then you finish it, right? And then that night, 
your husband comes home, he opens it, he throws something in there. No, 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 no. Let, let's talk about this. Let's address it. I have this now for that thing you just threw in there or mm-hmm. whatever. Whether you are a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, a business owner, or anyone who handles any kind of marketing, we can't wait to tell you about one of our trusted partners, Flowdesk. Yes, say goodbye to complicated email marketing platforms. Flowdesk is the ultimate productivity tool that simplifies everything, making your life just a lot easier. Yeah. We mm-hmm. used to rely on MailChimp. You, you've probably heard of all the email platforms, MailChimp, Constant Contact, you know, the HubSpot has one. And look, if you're using those, that's fine. You know, do whatever you want to do. But if you want to up your game and guess what? Save some money. The aesthetics with Flowdesk alone are going to sell you if you just go in and try it out. Uh, Eye-catching layouts and all kinds of beautiful creations come with Flowdesk. Just as a business owner, you really do need to be communicating with your audience via newsletter. If you aren't doing that, you could go ahead and just start with Flowdesk. I tell people all the time that when you are only depending on your audience community being social media, you're really setting yourself up as you know a disservice because you don't have those people's emails. If something happens with Meta today, all the people that follow you or you connect with on social media platforms are gone. So you really do need to be building a community via email so that you can communicate with them that way if you have a product or service. We've secured a special 50% off link for you to try out Flowdesk. Experience its incredible features and see the difference for yourself. Once you fall in love with it, which we know you will, you'll also save money on your subscription. That's right. Don't miss out on that offer. You can go to arneradventures.com slash flowdesk and give it a try. It's one thing a day. And we have found that that really makes decluttering so much easier. There's, One task oh, a day. No doubt. With, with the overwhelm that goes on in a junk drawer. Yeah. Rub, rubber band aid would be my favorite. <laughs> you could come yeah. back and you, I would I would notice right away. I'd open up and say, where's the rubber bands? And you, well, Jared, did you read the calendar? Today That's right. Rubber bands in the rubber junk band drawer in day. the junk drawer day. Yeah. Yeah. You're going 365. <laughs> you can do that day. I think with, and also the way that we, you know, if you're, if you're new here, we have a free 30 day declutter challenge. It's very popular at the beginning of every year, but you can do it anytime. It's just 30 days in a row. And we have always found that people are really Mm -hmm. successful because there's also things on it that um, address mindset, mental clutter, like, uh, come up with three affirmations today about yourself or, or turning negative comment that you have in, for yourself. Cause we all do it right. But being mindful of when those negative comments come up and turn around positive. And if that's the only thing you're doing that day, you are decluttering a negative mindset. You're working on a habit of decluttering a negative mindset. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. And we, we do want to emphasize, too, that the 30 days are in a row. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't resist the chance to, right. to bring that in. The 30 days must be in a row. Don't do. Yeah. For instance, I think we had somebody that said, yeah, I tried your 30 day challenge. I, well, I started in 2018 and I'm on day 27. And <laughs> our answer was, I don't know if you're going to have a lot of success. With that. Right. It's 2023 now. Right. Yeah, and you know, so. you ha- the reason for that is you need to make it a habit and you mm-hmm. make things a habit when you are progressively working through something. And after 30 days of thinking in that, that mindset, you do start to look at things a little bit differently. Um, and, you know, I think also when you're, when you're looking at decluttering, whether it's, it's tangible items, it's keeping boundaries up to keep people out of your life or whatever. Mm-hmm. It could be digital, like having contacts on your phone of people that you don't want in your life, just getting rid of them. It seems so small, but those small steps each day make life simpler and they make room for the important things in your life. Right. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. 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 So we still have our 30 day declutter challenge. We don't, that's not going anywhere. It's it's so great if you just want to, you know, dip your toes into learning more about decluttering. 
we decided after last year when it was really popular and then we would get people who had downloaded it and joined us in the declutter challenge in February, they were like, okay, well, what now? And we were like, well, no, you just, you know, you're mindful of it and you just keep, keep practicing, keeping things out of your house, say no to things, you know, you make sure you keep watching your mail and stay unsubscribed mm -hmm. from things. It was nice in a way to see people were that reliant on us, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, okay, we, but... we can't spring them loose after <laughs> a month. They need us all year long. Hence the new declutter 365 program. That's right. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we started realizing, oh yeah, there's so many other things, of course, physical items in your home, but there's so many other things about changing your mindset and also digital clutter. Um, you know, trying to withstand from not trying withstanding from social media for a day, or, you know, we, we started, um, as things were helping us, we started jotting them down. Like we made a separate, um, area for our phones at night. And we talk about putting our phones to bed mm -hmm. so that they stay out of the bedroom. Well, that is, if you do that, that is some, some people might be going, well, that's not decluttering. It is because it is decluttering that negative chaotic mindset and it's improving your sleep. And there's a lot of studies that show that a decluttered home improves sleep. So it all works mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. It's all, you know, uh, some people after our 30 day declutter challenge, they, they try the, uh, 30 day get outdoors challenge, which is great because it's also improving your physical health, your mental health, and it works on that mindset. So we just decided, well, I wonder if there's enough for a whole year. Well, there are enough yeah. things for the whole year. Oh yeah. And so we put it together and we're calling it declutter 365. It's still a declutter challenge. It's just going through the whole year. And after the year, you should feel pretty darn good about yourself because not only have you done the, the things that it, it says about decluttering the physical things, but when you are making the intention for a year of working on the things that are uh, chaotic and, and, and just block your mindset of being able to focus on a healthier you and a healthier environment. It just, it, it just, it just, it does just makes life simpler. Well, yeah. Yeah. And the great thing too, by the time you've gone through the whole thing, it's time to start over at number one, because that stuff <laughs> needs tending to. That is exactly that right. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So yeah, it's and we have made it where there is something different every day. But like, you'll notice if you choose to take this challenge, you'll you'll notice like in June or July, there might be something that seems repetitive, like, Oh, why don't you revisit your emails and see if there's other newsletters that have come in that you want to unsubscribe from or store and sale emails. You know, if you've got to revisit things, mm -hmm. we revisit our decluttering all year long because it just, even though we say no, it still trickles in. Yeah. The stuff things, still trickles in. A lot of things are seasonal. There's the springtime, there's the summer version, there's the fall version. Yeah. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. And this touches on everything. It touches on your outdoor. Um, if you have a garage, it touches on if you if you have an outdoor shed, if you have plants, if you have th just different things to declare, if you have kids, um, pets, <sighs> it's just touching on everything so that at the end of 365 days in a row, in a row, <laughs> uh, then you should feel pretty darn decluttered. You should. The rubber bands won't be building up in your junk drawer anymore. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. Well, we have a link down in the show notes for our free 30 day declutter challenge. And again, it just takes you through step by step, manageable daily tasks to declutter. Shouldn't take you longer than 10 to 15 minutes. And then we have a link for our declutter 365. So um, if you want to join us in that challenge for the new year, please feel free to do so. We, um, you know, we know that people listen to this at different times of year. So if you're not listening to this on December 26th, you happen to be listening to it in January or February, you can still join us on the declutter 365 challenge because 
you can pick up any day that you start and then just do it in a year. And so um, we hope that you find it as useful and successful as we do. We're sure that you will. And um, let us know what you think. Yeah, indeed. Give us your feedback. If this episode resonated with you, or if you know of someone who would benefit from anything we talked about today, or any episode, our guests, or anything, please share it with a friend. It's a great way of supporting the podcast and us, and we really appreciate it. Another way of supporting the pod is by leaving us a five-star reviewer rating on the platform you're listening to us on. Oh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that also supports us. We would love that. You can always find us, links we refer to during the show, and any of the podcast sponsors at arnardventures.com or linked here in these show notes. And until next time, enjoy that journey you're on. We're wishing you lots of adventures. Adios. Arrivederci. Au revoir. Adios. Uh, sayonara. Alvida uh, Dos vidiniana.